Okay, this is a blast from the past. This is uh, the Beast. It's a three-inch rocket made out of hand-rolled uh, tubing from uh, 30 packs of Milwaukee's Best. Uh, almost 99% cardboard from beer cartons. There's about 90 beers goes into this. It's a real hit at the launch, and uh, people get a kick out of seeing this fly. It's about four feet long, approximately. Uh, these are the G74 motors that it just loves to fly on. I put some uh, A83 motors there in the picture uh, just for scale. Those would be the motors you're more familiar with uh, at the local hobby store. This is a new gadget called Shoot Release, and it holds the parachute tightly rolled until it reaches a set altitude. It lets you fly a lot higher, you fall faster, and then your chute opens very close to the ground so the rocket doesn't drift so far. Ready? All right, so we're going to look at some of the stills. Here you can see that chute release, the parachute bundled up with the chute release very neatly. Uh, get some nice uh, shots of the scenery from 3,000 feet looking down back at the ground. That's the Tucson International Model Air Park, Tempa. That's our launch site there, about a half mile uh, away from Tempa. More scenery. More scenery still. You'll start start to see us getting closer to the ground now. Again, there's that chute still bundled. Yeah, definitely getting closer. That's that's the family photo. Uh, that's the sarahrocketry.org. Uh, Sarah is Southern Arizona Rocket Association. There you can see the shadow of the parachute. It's open now. And this is what the ground looks like from real close up. Thank you very much.